So I wanted to do a project that I've noticed in a couple of stores, um, very cool like wings on the back of a t-shirt. And I figured, you know, I could do that myself. So I decided to try. So if you want to see how I did this project, just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start drawing out my wing. I just took a piece of cardboard, light piece of cardboard, cut out a square. I have an idea of how I want to start. I'm just going to start drawing out the picture of the wing. And then I think I'm going to add a couple of feathers. Like that. There we go. I have one wing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the wing and basically cut it out along the lines. Okay, here is my wing. I went ahead and basically cut around the edges and cut it out. You want to try to get the edges as smooth as possible because you are basically going to be using this as your pattern. Okay, now that I have my wing cut out already, I'm going to show you guys these. These are what I'm using to make the outline um, of the wing on the t-shirt. These are fabric markers. Uh, I picked these up at Walmart for about $9.99. Okay, the next part that I've done is I've basically laid the wing on the t-shirt. And I've measured, you know, I laid it right where I think I want it to be. And I've measured from the top of the t-shirt about five inches down. Um, I also marked it with just a blue colored pencil. You know, this will just wash right out in the wash. Uh, I also measure, measured about two inches from this side in, and I marked that point. And then I also marked up here around the beginning of the wing so that I don't lose my reference point and I've marked here as well where I want the wing to land and then I flipped over the wing and I did the same on the other side I marked the top two inches from the side marked here where I want that to land and I marked here where I want that to land so I'm gonna start tracing out the first side I'm using my black fabric marker and I'm going to hold the pattern down so that it doesn't move from it where I have it. And I'm going to start up here at the top. And I'm just basically going all the way around. Okay, there you go. There is one side. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to connect these lines where I have any gaps. Taking any lines that look too faded.
Okay, now I'm going to start on the other side of the wing. I've basically taken the same pattern and just flipped it over to the other side. I lined up with all my blue marks and now I'm just going to start drawing in the wing again. Okay, there you go, there's the one side. Now I'm just going to go and fill it in again. I have my wing laying there because I want to use it as a reference point so that I can do the little bit of wing detail, the feathers. At this point, you could get as creative with this as you want. You could really fill in the details of the feathers or you could just keep it short and sweet, which is what I'm choosing to do almost kind of like a cartoony wing, angel wing, I guess. Careful about dragging your fingers in the ink. Okay, at this point I just decided to add a little bit of detailing with adding a couple of dashes here at the tops. Not really matching, you know, I got three stripes over there, two over there. I've added little dashes here and there on the, in, on the outside edges of the feathers as well, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Added a few little lines here, just a little bit of extra detail. Um, you can go as far as you want with the detail. You can get really, uh, you know, intricate and start lining out the feathers, but that's completely up to you whether or not you want to go that far with this. Okay guys, there you go. Wings on the back of a t-shirt. Just keep watching for more videos.